Acetylcysteine, Wikipedia article audio. Acetylcysteine, also known as N-acetylcysteine, is a medication that is used for the treatment of paracetamol overdose and to loosen thick mucus in individuals with cystic fibrosis or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It can be taken intravenously, by mouth, or inhaled as a mist. Some people use it as a dietary supplement. Uses Paracetamol overdose Mucolytic therapy Kidney disease Hemorrhagic cystitis Obstructive lung disease Psychiatry Microbiological use Other uses Side effects Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Pharmacokinetics Chemistry Dosage forms Research Common side effects include nausea and vomiting when taken by mouth. The skin may occasionally become red and itchy with either form. A non-immune type of anaphylaxis may also occur. It appears to be safe in pregnancy. It works by increasing glutathione levels and binding with the toxic breakdown products of paracetamol. Acetylcysteine was initially patented in 1960 and licensed for use in 1968. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication and is not very expensive. Intravenous and oral formulations of acetylcysteine are available for the treatment of paracetamol overdose. When paracetamol is taken in large quantities, a minor metabolite called N-acetyl-P-benzoquinonimine accumulates within the body. It is normally conjugated by glutathione, but when taken in excess, the body's glutathione reserves are not sufficient to inactivate the toxic NAPCHI. This metabolite is then free to react with key hepatic enzymes, thereby damaging liver cells. This may lead to severe liver damage and even death by acute liver failure. In the treatment of acetaminophen overdose, Acetylcysteine acts to maintain or replenish depleted glutathione reserves in the liver and enhance non-toxic metabolism of acetaminophen. These actions serve to protect liver cells from NAPCHI toxicity. It is most effective in preventing or lessening hepatic injury when administered within 8-10 hours after overdose. Research suggests that the rate of liver toxicity is approximately 3% when acetylcysteine is administered within 10 hours of overdose. Although both for and oral acetylcysteine are equally effective for this indication, oral administration is poorly tolerated because high oral doses are required due to low oral bioavailability, because of its very unpleasant taste and odor and because of adverse effects, particularly nausea and vomiting. Prior pharmacokinetic studies of acetylcysteine did not consider acetylation as a reason for the low bioavailability of acetylcysteine. Oral acetylcysteine is identical in bioavailability to cysteine precursors. However, 3% to 6% of people given intravenous acetylcysteine show a severe, anaphylaxis-like allergic reaction, which may include extreme breathing difficulty, a decrease in blood pressure, rash, angioedema, and sometimes also nausea and vomiting. Repeated doses of intravenous acetylcysteine will cause these allergic reactions to progressively worsen in these people. Several studies have found this anaphylaxis-like reaction to occur more often in people given 4-acetylcysteine despite serum levels of paracetamol not high enough to be considered toxic.
Inhaled acetylcysteine has been used for mucolytic therapy in addition to other therapies in respiratory conditions with excessive and slash or thick mucus production. It is also used postoperatively, as a diagnostic aid, and in tracheotomy care. It may be considered ineffective in cystic fibrosis. A 2013 Cochrane review in cystic fibrosis found no evidence of benefit. Some reviews found that prior administration of acetylcysteine decreases radiocontrast-induced kidney disease, whereas another found questionable effects. Despite the conflicting research outcomes, the 2012 Kidney Disease, Improving Global Outcomes Guidelines suggest the use of oral acetylcysteine for the prevention of contrast-induced nephropathy in high-risk individuals, given its potential for benefit, low likelihood of adverse effects, and low cost. Acetylcysteine has been used for cyclophosphamide-induced hemorrhagic cystitis although mesna is generally preferred due to the ability of acetylcysteine to diminish the effectiveness of cyclophosphamide. Acetylcysteine is used in the treatment of obstructive lung disease as an adjuvant treatment. Acetylcysteine has been successfully tried as a treatment for a number of psychiatric disorders. A systematic review from 2015, and several earlier medical reviews, indicated that there is favorable evidence for N-acetylcysteine efficacy in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, bipolar disorder, major depressive disorder, obsessive-compulsive disorder, schizophrenia, specific drug addictions, and a certain form of epilepsy. Tentative evidence also supports use in cannabis use disorder. Evidence to date does not support the efficacy for N-acetylcysteine in treating addictions to gambling, methamphetamine, or nicotine, although pilot-controlled data are encouraging. Based upon preclinical evidence and limited clinical evidence, NAC appears to normalize glutamate neurotransmission into the nucleus accumbens and other brain structures in part by upregulating the expression of excitatory amino acid transporter 2, a.k.a. glutamate transporter 1, in individuals with addiction. While NAC has been demonstrated to modulate glutamate neurotransmission in adult humans who are addicted to cocaine, NAC does not appear to modulate glutamate neurotransmission in healthy adult humans. NAC has been hypothesized to exert beneficial effects through its modulation of glutamate and dopamine neurotransmission as well as its antioxidant properties. Acetylcysteine can be used in Petroff's method i.e. liquefaction and decontamination of sputum, in preparation for recovery of mycobacterium. It also displays significant antiviral activity against the influenza A viruses. Acetylcysteine has bactericidal properties and breaks down bacterial biofilms of clinically relevant pathogens including Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, Enterococcus faecalis, Enterobacter cloacae, Staphylococcus epidermidis, and Klebsiella pneumoniae. Acetylcysteine is sold as a dietary supplement commonly claiming antioxidant and liver protecting effects. Acetylcysteine has been used to complex palladium, to help it dissolve in water. This helps to remove palladium from drugs or precursors synthesized by palladium-catalyzed coupling reactions. The most commonly reported adverse effects for four formulations of acetylcysteine are rash, urticaria, and itchiness. Up to 18% of patients have been reported to experience anaphylaxis reaction, which are defined as rash, hypotension, wheezing, and slash or shortness of breath. Lower rates of anaphylactoid reactions have been reported with slower rates of infusion. Adverse effects for inhalational formulations of acetylcysteine include nausea, vomiting, 
stomatitis, fever, rhinorrhea, drowsiness, clamminess, chest tightness, and bronchoconstriction. Although infrequent, bronchospasm has been reported to occur unpredictably in some patients. Adverse effects for oral formulations of acetylcysteine have been reported to include nausea, vomiting, rash, and fever. Large doses in a mouse model showed that acetylcysteine could potentially cause damage to the heart and lungs. They found that acetylcysteine was metabolized to s nitroso n acetylcysteine which increased blood pressure in the lungs and right ventricle of the heart in mice treated with acetylcysteine. The effect was similar to that observed following a three-week exposure to an oxygen-deprived environment. The authors also found that snow C induced a hypoxia-like response in the expression of several important genes both in vitro and in vivo. The implications of these findings for long-term treatment with acetylcysteine have not yet been investigated. The dose used by Palmer and colleagues was dramatically higher than that used in humans, the equivalent of about 20 grams per day. Nonetheless, positive effects on age-diminished control of respiration have been observed previously in human subjects at more moderate doses. Although N-acetylcysteine prevented liver damage when taken before alcohol, when taken four hours after alcohol it made liver damage worse in a dose-dependent fashion. Acetylcysteine serves as a prodrug to L-cysteine. L-cysteine is a precursor to the biologic antioxidant glutathione. Hence administration of acetylcysteine replenishes glutathione stores. Glutathione, along with oxidized glutathione and s nitrosoglutathione have been found to bind to the glutamate recognition site of the NMDA and AMPA receptors, and may be endogenous neuromodulators. At millimolar concentrations, they may also modulate the redox state of the NMDA receptor complex. In addition, Glutathione has been found to bind to and activate ionotropic receptors that are different from any other excitatory amino acid receptor, and which may constitute glutathione receptors, potentially making it a neurotransmitter. As such, since an acetylcysteine is a prodrug of glutathione, it may modulate all of the aforementioned receptors as well. Glutathione also modulates the NMDA receptor by acting at the redox site. L-cysteine also serves as a precursor to cysteine which in turn serves as a substrate for the cysteine glutamate antiporter on astrocytes hence increasing glutamate release into the extracellular space. This glutamate in turn acts on GLUR2 thirds receptors, and at higher doses of acetylcysteine, GLUR5. Solution for inhalation inhaled for mucolytic therapy or ingested for nephroprotective effect, intravenous injection treatment of paracetamol-slash-acetaminophen overdose, oral solution various indications, effervescent tablets, ocular solution, for mucolytic therapy, tablets, sometimes in a sustained release formula sold as a nutritional supplement, capsules. Acetylcysteine also possesses some anti-inflammatory effects possibly via inhibiting NF-kappa B and modulating cytokine synthesis. Acetylcysteine is extensively liver metabolized, CYP450 minimal, urine excretion is 22-30% with a half-life of 5.6 hours in adults and 11 hours in neonates. Acetylcysteine is the N acetyl derivative of the amino acid L-cysteine, and is a precursor in the formation of the antioxidant glutathione in the body. The thiol group confers antioxidant effects and is able to reduce free radicals. N-acetyl L-cysteine is soluble in water and alcohol, and practically insoluble in chloroform and ether. 
It is a white to white with light yellow cast powder, and has a pica of 9.5 at 30 degrees Celsius. Acetylcysteine is available in different dosage forms for different indications. The four injection and inhalation preparations are, in general, prescription only, whereas the oral solution and the effervescent tablets are available over the counter in many countries. Acetylcysteine is available as a health supplement in the United States, typically in capsule form.